out of the blue, I was approached by my employer that I'd worked with for the last uh, four and a half years with totally change of our contract terms. He expected me to sign right away and reducing my pay rate the way it was structured, it was going to be substantially less. Am I entitled to any compensation? Like if I refuse and he says, well, get lost, right? My average income would have been 55 to 75. I'm uh, 63. And this comes back to this concept of constructive dismissal, John, that you and I have discussed on the show before. And to make it very clear, an employer does not have the right to change the terms of employment in a significant way. And in this case, if we're talking about changing to compensation, well, it doesn't get more significant than that. You know, compensation being probably one of the more important terms of employment that we have. And it doesn't always have to be, well, we're going to reduce your salary from 70000 to 50000 Oftentimes, it's a change to the structure. Maybe commissions decrease or base salary changes or, or the bonus goes away. So there's different types of changes. As long as it reduces your overall take-home pay, as long as you make less money because of these changes, that's otherwise in what I call an, an illegal change. Which means in this particular situation with this uh, listener of our that called us on a radio show, yeah, he is well within his rights to say no. Why would he say yes, in fact? And, and he doesn't have to accept a change like that. The problem with him accepting the change, and you know this, John, is if he accepts it, he wants to be that good soldier, he gives the employer arguably the right to do it again and again in the future. So he has a choice. He can accept this change and continue working, or he can treat his employment as being terminated. Again, a constructive dismissal and leave with his severance. Now, for the purpose of giving a full answer here, let's, let's tr do a, an analysis about what that severance would be. Let's, let's plug his information into our trusty severance calculator. So he's in a sales role, four and a half years of employment, uh, 63 years old. Let's assume salary of 70000 sure. whatever it is. Well, someone like in his situation, anywhere from eight to 10 months pay, okay? Eight to 10 months pay. So that's 46 to $58,000 that he'd be owed uh, if a constructive dismissal. So he has to think, do I want that eight to 10 months pay or would I rather stay with the lower uh, paying job? That's his decision, but the law makes it clear. You do not have to accept a significant change to the terms of your employment. You know, it's funny, we've talked about this for so many years about when there's change to the employment. And often this is, this is the same when people first take a job, they looked at that contract. They may be thinking that year or the year ahead with 10% pay reduction but it's the aggregate of 20 years yeah. that's what's you got to look you got to look long term you got to think about it and if your employer is going to start messing around with your compensation right. it may be better to leave get your severance and move on to a different job where you're going to have better stability but you mentioned employment agreement you know one of the things an employer can do is and some employers do this believe it or not they can stipulate in the employment agreement that we the employer have the right and the power to change your job uh, compensation or to change your salary down the road what a horrible thing if you think about it for you to sign an agreement that gives the employer the full discretion to reduce your pay so that means uh, today we felt like paying you 20 percent less john we're going to do it so you want to be careful about signing employment agreements that give the employer that type of power bad idea and if you're not sure what your employment agreement says please give me a call and that's 1-855-821-5900 help at employmenthour.com